Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Myself, Nisha Ligia, and today I'm going to show you my simple project web application built on Python and Flask. So let me just take you to the tour. Uh, I will just show you the code and the procedure working of it, and I will just walk through the code. So you can just follow up that, or I will make another video wherein you can just go through the complete. Uh, I will go through the complete code, and you can get that. And if you need, uh, I will just post the link in the description to download the complete source code. So let's get started. Now I'm into my favorite IDE PyCharm. So now let me just run my project here by this button. And this is my web application or weather app built on Flask. Let me just enter a state name. So if I submit, I will get an icon of the weather and then in the serial number and data, we get the city name, state, description, longitude, latitude, temperature, minimum temperature, max temperature, pressure, humidity and wind speed. Here we have uh, time, here we have time and date here and you can go with about us here, you can just write some description about the application. I have not yet included that page, I have just kept it empty so that a user can feel about him. So this is how it looks. For the file contents, this is the main file uh, of the program wherein we get the fetch the data, all the wind speed and the temperature, the weather and all. And then uh, if we if we have already done with some done some tutorials and flask, you may be knowing there are two types of files. One is the static and the templates. So the static file contains the scripts and all, like CSS files and all. And the template template files contains your HTML documents. So here I have my two HTML documents. That is one is the index. There's one is the index and second is the result. So index. Uh, this is the index. I, I completely coded this with uh, bootstrap. You can just see that bootstrap 4.4.1 CSS. And the result, the result is that the last one, the last final page that we were able to see, uh, the, that file is the, this. This this just runs around and gives you the result. Like uh, here we have the loop or the for loop. So this is how it works and if you really want to like you know the, how the code really works uh, I will just make a video let me know in the comment if you like really know about the code working of this code or uh, you just you can just download this from the link below. So that's it for today stay tuned for more interesting projects like this and uh, if you have any suggestions that need to be included in this system. Uh, feel free to comment down and I'll make sure or I'll try to implement that uh, probably I will be leaving this project open so we can just walk around with this code that's it for today for more just do like share and subscribe and do follow my Instagram page techie programmer uh, I have some good content for you so just you go check it out and you can follow my personal account that is underscore hadalgi underscore uh, you can see that on the screen so that's it for today thanks